The coronation is around the corner, and what do I have underneath my hat? Well, it's only a bloody cocktail. Now, whether you're a fan of the monarchy or not, the coronation is going to be a great excuse to drink, and we get a bank holiday. So here's a cocktail I designed specifically for the upcoming coronation. The first thing you want to do is grab a cocktail shaker, as this is a shaken cocktail. Grab a cucumber and peel away that plastic. Then you're going to cut that cucumber into about three chunks. Add the chunks to your shaker along with two strawberries. Don't worry about taking the green bit off, it's just going to add a bit of flavour. Then grab yourself a lime, cut that bad boy in half and squeeze half of it into your shaker. Next up you want to grab a muddler or a spoon or anything you can muddle with. You can just punch inside the cocktail shaker if you want. You want to turn all that fruit to mush. Then we're going to go in with some gin. Now I hear King Charles is a big fan of Scotland and as this is the UK and we're trying to encompass every part of it, not just the south, we're going to use some Scottish gin. So you are going with about 30 to 35 millilitres, but you can just eye this if you want. You'll know if it's too strong after you taste it. Then you'll know for next time. Fill that bad boy with ice and give it a good old shake up. Then grab yourself a glass. Top tip, keep your glass in the freezer. We're going to fill that with ice, or if you fancy like myself, just one ice cube. Give that a stir for no apparent reason, and then you're going to strain that cocktail over the top. You can use a fine strainer if you don't want little bits of strawberry and cucumber in there. Then to top this, we're going to grab some English cider. So we've got gin all the way from the north, and we've got cider all the way from the south, made with those fresh, crisp British apples. Crack that open and fill it right to the top. Then you're going to give that a little stir around just to incorporate the cider. And to garnish, we're going to peel off some strips of cucumber. One of those strips, you're going to push inside the glass so it absorbs all that flavour. And another strip, you're just going to give it a little twirl. Here's a fancy trick that you can do if you've got some tweezers on you. Just pick it up at one end and give it a flip around. And there we have it, a great British cocktail designed for the coronation. It is the coronation cocktail. Enjoy!